Hello all, Bob Pisani here with today's ETF Edge, a day after one of the biggest betting days of the year. What's the state of online gaming? And with Tesla's announcement it's made an investment in Bitcoin, what's the state of those Bitcoin ETFs? Joining us now, Will Hershey, who runs the Roundhill Sports Betting and iGaming ETF, that's symbol B-E-T-Z, and Jeff Kilberg, founder and CEO of KKM Financial and a partner in a fund that's sponsoring a new Bitcoin ETF. Will, seven months, your sports betting ETF has taken in $350 million. It's a hot topic. How was betting on the Super Bowl? Super Bowl? What is the state of sports betting? And will it expand to the big four states this year? Absolutely. I think this should come as a surprise to no one, but the Super Bowl is the event of the year for the betting industry. We're expected the numbers to come in at more than $500 million in terms of regulated wagers this year. That's up substantially from $300 million last year, and a lot of that growth is coming from mobile and online betting, as well as new states coming online. Recently, we've had launches in Michigan, in Tennessee, in Virginia. In terms of the state of the industry, since the repeal of PASPA in 2018, we've been in hyper-growth mode. I expect more states to legal including potentially New York and Texas throughout the remainder of the year. Okay, and Jeff, we have seen Bitcoin ETFs rejected time and again by the SEC. Is 2021 finally the year we might see a Bitcoin ETF? And, and what has changed? What would have changed that made them agree to it this time? Well, Bob, I think 2021 is the year we see a Bitcoin ETF. We just filed for Bitcoin ETF, and the response from the SEC is that they have to wait for the Trading and Markets Division to get comfortable with the concept. And how did the Trading and Markets Division of the SEC get comfortable with the Bitcoin ETF? I think it's listening to the community. Look at the active as well as passive investors. Investors, they're looking for a remedy to own Bitcoin. They're looking for a safe environment to own Bitcoin. And historically, Bob, we have seen a lot of the products that allow exposure to Bitcoin traded a premium to NAV or traded a premium to the spot price. And lastly, I think the splash day with Tesla talking about owning Bitcoin, 1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin, and also the fact that we are seeing the broader adoption going back to PayPal last October, where they're allowing cryptocurrencies to be transacted inside of their community. So there's just a lot of synergies happening. And lastly, just to put a couple of sprinkles on the cupcake, Bob, we're seeing Ethereum. Ethereum futures start trading today in the CME group. So the broader swap global adoption of cryptocurrency is here at positive. And that's why I'm optimistic on a Bitcoin ETF for 2021.